government just banned our expat retire early life. Well, the whole grain bread? 330 to 350, but it, you can make your own. How many grams is that? It's just 680 grams. About a pound and a half. So I mean, the cost of wheat on there is like a on that is like a quarter, right? So you make your own bread, and then it's not in all cases where when you make your own, it's going to cost more. In a lot of cases, when you make your own, it costs a lot less, and yet it's still healthier. In this mm -hmm. case, this, That's is a, right. this is healthy bread, but you get charged so much more of a premium for somebody else doing all the work. You know, baking it, slicing it, packaging it, promoting it, paying for the advertising, that's what you're paying for. We were saying that I can make three loaves of bread that big for that price, about uh, $3.35 loaf. And I've mentioned before, I'm conflicted about the subject matter because ev everywhere you look, you see industries that service the expat industry. It's actually, it's a huge industry. It never before used to be that way. I think this is, ever since the internet, it's just, it has just ballooned and just become this huge, I haven't done the research, but it's got to be, it's got to be a billion dollar industry. You talk about all the industries that serve, you know, the expat communities. And so what I see is everywhere is these industries that are just pandering to people's desires, which is, I guess, a normal way to sell stuff. <laughs> they say, sell the sizzle, not the steak, right? <laughs> hey, is this enough sizzle for you? Can you see it? <laughs> There's the umbrella in the way. You got any sizzle here? <laughs> but uh, no, we can't kid around about this. We enjoy being abroad. I mean, I mean, the whole idea that we're sitting here making videos while we're at the beach and at the same time it seems really like you get the feeling that you're sitting here at the beach while you should be like raising food and stuff and so i went fishing <laughs> you know thinking all right well i'm i'm not raising any food in the desert uh so maybe i can go fishing but if i was to depend on that for food i i would be getting skinnier and skinnier by the day but that's just because I'm new at it and so there's always a hope that I'll get better at it right now I just figured out that my line is probably too too thin because I lost a weight and two hooks line cut and what's cutting the line it's just sand out there and waves I mean if waves and sand can cut a line and your lines too thin <laughs> you know it's just process of elimination but hey if you're an experienced uh, you know reef fisherman and you know better give me some input because I'm like retreating with my with my tail between my legs. You know, I mean, it's just this kind of stuff happens when you embark on new things. It's just like somebody, a lot of people are getting into the uh, homesteading that have never done it before. And so, you, you know, you're going to have all these people that are all of a sudden raising chickens and they've never done it before. Like they're not going to have like chickens that get sick and sure they will. They're going to have chickens. They're going to lose birds. Uh, I was talking to a friend in the States a few weeks ago, he was telling me a couple of chickens died. What else? He was having trouble with the sheep. So it's always something, but at least when you're homesteading and preparing, instead of sitting on the beach, you have backups. You can set yourself up with backups for your backups. So maybe a couple of chickens died, but you've got 20 chickens, so you still have 18 chickens. Does that make sense? And then as you process your chickens or whatever meat you raise, and you perhaps put up meat, whether it's in your freezer or you jar it up, whatever you do, if all of your animals died, at least you could have a supply already anyway, a year's worth in the freezer and in the pantry and what have you. But with this, if you don't catch any fish, you don't eat. <laughs> if you're not catching enough fish to put up fish in your freezer and your pantry, and if you had to depend on this, to eat then you it's really risky <laughs> yeah. but it's okay we have lentils at home but we can always go back home and have lentils instead of fish lentils do have protein it's a uh, plant protein I think they have protein Angie do you remember if they have protein yes they have they protein and, and minerals so it's a good non-meat protein and and nutrition if it was good enough for the ancients 
you know because back in the day they didn't eat meat every day you see it's it's written that it was a special occasion they ate meat they had a special occasion and it was an occasional thing and so but everywhere in this industry of whether it's retire abroad and we're retirely lifestyle so at home or abroad I mean we've done this lifestyle in the states as homesteaders and we've done the travel abroad thing and we're still abroad and we're just seeing these industries that are just pandering to people's hopes and I'm a person that wants to keep his freedom I'm not going to sit here and give away my freedom just so I can travel you you look at Ecuador Ecuador has practically Ecuador has literally banned us from being able to reunite with our family in Ecuador they have literally done that and they're still doing it and so we're not like sitting out here because one might get the impression that we're just sitting here with no cares in the world nothing's happening in the world no worries no concerns over personal liberty well that's just not true so we haven't found a home yet you know it's like you get caught is there a saying for when you are going about your daily weekly monthly yearly thing and all of a sudden uh, some sort of event happens and you get caught in that event unprepared and so I'm gonna have to get better at fishing you know if I want to get keep my freedom I'm gonna have to get get better at fishing so I'm gonna keep at it I mean I had some trouble casting today I didn't know I was letting the line loose too early and it was I'm trying to cast in front of me so that the, the hooks can be cast out into the deeper part of the ocean and, and it was just going to the side and I was letting it loose too soon and all that I was watching some videos about people fishing and specifically I was watching somebody teaching someone that had never done it before and he told her to wait and let let the line loose a little later so that it can get the forward movement of the casting so but anyway without getting into the intricacies of fishing because it makes you think you know the ancients they way back in the day at some point people started you know there, there's a school of thought that says that people were a little bit more nomadic but I'm not sure at what point that would have been maybe way way before because there's written evidence that shows that people had animals they had herd herds and they had you know they, they kept animals and they planted lentils and uh, you know and this kind of thing so that means they weren't really nomadic so it would have had to have been way before that so I I'm not sure how relevant that is because even in the days of Abraham even Abraham bought a lot went somewhere where things were relatively peaceful and and you know and that's what people are looking for when they go abroad they want to find that area where things are peaceful and they can keep their liberty and enjoy life and I don't know what's going you know I mean you know what's what's happening and I know that people are hopeful that things will go back to so-called normal but I'm looking at Ecuador and saying they're still doing it it's been a over a year now and I still can't go and visit my family in Ecuador it's been it's going on a year and a half and so in order to avoid disappointments we need to not have expectations that are b beyond our control you know we can't control what some of these governments are doing we have to set ourselves up in such a way that it won't make our life miserable and being banned from your family that's you know that's that can be rough that's that is rough that's really rough that's un, actually it's unacceptable it's you know it's like well I could, I could go on and on in a different direction on this but you know it's like governments are instituted among men to secure these rights and liberties you know that kind of thing see and you're seeing these articles like in uh, publications that are actually supported by industries that benefit <laughs> you know it's like that just screams red flag to me of uh, vested interest and it you know and it's got these articles where it says that you know expats people that are traveling they they're more concerned you know there's there's more concern about being stranded and stuck not being able to visit family but at the at the same time they're you know they're adding articles that saying that you know people are feeling better and better and, and still traveling and and you know and that that and they are hopeful that things will get back to normal and so it's a it's 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 this dichotomy thing going on where it's like I'm banned from reuniting with my family in Ecuador I'm banned that's a fact
all the hope in the world isn't going to change what's happening. So all of these articles, you know, they can print all the articles they want about all the, the rosy thing. And I know that's what people, you know, but I want to keep my liberty and I want to, I don't want to get stranded away from my family. And I want to be prepared, preparing. I want to be putting away a year's worth of fish. Maybe that I didn't catch. <laughs> You know, and that's that thing where, you know, if, if one person doesn't know how to catch fish, he can either try to learn to catch fish or another member of the uh, family is better at it. And I say family loosely, extended family, it could be, member of the tribe, whatever, is maybe they're better at it. <laughs> but I'll keep trying. I'll let you know when I finally catch some fish. I hope you got something out of that. Thanks for coming to the channel. Have a wonderful day.